almost near religious thing, Howard, of, of this Benghazi thing. And I had this, the weird sense about this, and everything's open to inquiry, and it should be, but it's like they don't want to inquire. They just want people to think bad, dark stuff, things evil happened here. And they don't really want to get to the bottom of it if there is a bottom. Well, Chris, if they got to the bottom of it, they'd find that there wasn't much there, and then they would have to think of something else to run 2014 and 2016 on. They yeah. want this to go on forever. They want a long, they want a list of potential witnesses for this new select committee, as long as the dictionary, because they want to keep it going all the way through. There's some other elements here. I think uh, Mike's piece is absolutely terrific. But don't forget, the guy who's head of this new committee is a Tea Party guy from South Carolina, Trey yeah. Gowdy. He's all Tea Party. The Tea Party has loved this from the beginning, as Mike says. It's a great fundraising thing. What does it say? It's a fundraising I mean, thing for the said, entire group. You and I group. remember, yeah. at, the end of the, at the end of the Vietnam War, thank God, around 1972, right before the election, Kissinger said, it was Secretary of State, peace is at hand, okay? A little bit early, a little bit premature, okay? Right. But nobody sits around thinking about this. It, at worst, what the, Clinton, uh, the Obama people are guilty of, at worst, and this has taken the total Republican argument, they spun it a bit more in one direction than the other, okay? I think so. I mean, uh, having, having, having read... If it's, if it's true, ha there's no proof Having read it the documents, that's all it is so far. They somehow have to try to prove that there was premeditated, premeditated intent to mislead based on actual knowledge of exactly what was going to happen and what happened. They're never going to find it. They, I think they know they're never going to find it. But as you say, it's a matter of faith, especially with the Tea Party and especially given the sort of demonization of Hillary yeah. Uh, tradition that that Mike talks about. I, I will say this though, I don't think, based on the people I know and the reporting I've done, that it's going to scare Hillary off in the least. I think her view is she's the worst of it. She's survived the worst of it. What didn't kill her made her stronger. Yeah, I think. and she <laughs> will roll over these people, especially because there's every possibility that the Trey Gowdies of the world are going to overplay their hand. And Big by time. the way, Hillary's a strong person. She ran for the Senate up in New York. She yeah. did a lot of things. Yeah. Can she walk away and say, I quit because of Benghazi? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Benghazi has become a code word of sorts for the right. They're setting up a word association. Hear the word Benghazi, think Hillary Clinton. This weekend, Utah Republican Jason Chaffetz on Meet the Press referenced Clinton multiple times in regards to this so-called, I don't even want to call it a scandal, this thing. Let's watch. I have a document in my hands, an internal State Department document that goes to Cheryl Mills, Hillary Clinton's chief of staff. This is on September 12th. The State Department had told the president of the Libyan Congress that it was Ansar al-Sharia, a terrorist organization that had committed these attacks. What happened, for instance, as journalists, you do not know the answer as to why was the ambassador there? Uh, what happened, for instance, on April 6, 2012, when our facility was bombed? It was bombed again on June 6 of 2012. The British ambassador or had assassination attempt. What did Secretary Clinton do to secure that facility? Chris Stevens, the ambassador, was there at that facility in Benghazi because he wanted to be there. It was his call. That's the way the world works, Congressman. You ought to figure that one out. Ambassadors make their own decisions. Anyway, meanwhile, Fox News host Eric Bowling made this allegation about why Hillary Clinton didn't go on the Sunday shows that weekend. Hillary Clinton was the one who was supposed to A, testify, and then B, go on those talk shows and be asked the question, why did you put, what's the reason for the terror attack? And she was the one who would have had to have said, well, it was the video that caused the, the attack. They knew she couldn't do that because she's going to, she was going to run in 2016. 2016 she said, and they could not she? throw her under the bus at that point. So she hits her head. She has to spend two weeks out of commission, can't testify, can't go on the talk shows, and they send Susan Rice uh, to do her dirty work. Amazing how somebody can talk with all that blabber and no information. Anyway, for the record, Boeing, this guy, didn't even get the timing right. Clinton's injuries, the head injury, occurred months after the Sunday show appearances by Rice. Months after. And by the way, she did testify before the Congress. Of course, some on the lunar right, like that guy, go even further. One Tea Party group recently blogged, oh, this is how far they go now. Hillary Clinton, the butcher of Benghazi. I think, Michael, you're right on point here. This seems to be... The only uh, cartridge they have in their bullet, in their, uh, in their belt here, because I would go back to this, that Hillary Clinton is a notch or two to the right on, on foreign policy from the president. I think we'd all agree, especially on Middle East politics. She's very much in the Democratic Center, in the interest group center on things like trade, where she's not so big for it like Bill. She's very much positioned right where you want to be in the sweet spot. They don't have a Republican 
even close to the sweet spot to beat her. The closest was Christie, and he's stuck on the bridge. Yeah, I think their best shot, frankly, is to try to knock her out of the race before she decides to uh, to get into it. In other words, to deter her from entering, because uh, I do think, you know, there's no Democratic field uh, uh, that can challenge her. I think everyone is in agreement on that. And you have utter disarray uh, on the Republican side with no one really able to take up the flag nationally, at least as yet. So, uh, you know, I do think the Benghazi industrial complex, as we've called it, is largely about uh, smearing her as best they can before yeah, but... any decisions are even made. But, but, Michael, why would this threat of a poo storm, uh, to use a terrible phrase, that she's just going to have to walk through this crap, basically, which is crap, because there's no way to work your way through it, really. It just is going to be, if it isn't the failure to plan for more security or the incidents that night or the later spin there, they just go like a, like a you know, the, they just keep going from one issue to another, no matter what you say, and, and they're never going to stop. So I guess she's just going to have to say to herself, maybe go to Howard. She's just going to have to say to herself, this is something I don't have to deal yeah, with. Well, she is going to deal with it. Her book, as, as Mike points out. Oh, by the way, book's coming much yeah, faster than right, the campaign. As, as Mike points out in his piece, you know, her book is coming. She's going to give as detailed explanation as she ever has or ever will give. That's going to be the orthodoxy in that book. I think she's prepared for it. I think uh, and she And by the is, way, her by, editors and publishers at Simon yeah. & Schuster, which published me, they're going to vet it. They're going to say this has to directly hit. The public sure, concern and it's, here, and, and, and the it's right wing to. crazy concern and, and as well. Fact, and in fact, the investigations, uh, of the special, the other investigations that have already taken place have said, in fact, there were administrative problems in the State Department about security. Yeah. And Hillary has uh, has owned up to that. Yeah. And she has mm. said that that her worst. Uh, Concern, like her, her biggest regret as Secretary of State, is the fact that they didn't do more. But what yeah. the Republicans are going to have to try to prove is that somehow she willfully, deliberately, uh, was not on her watch, which okay, is impossible is to show. I'm, ju I'm just saying. I mean, it's, you're it's saying you're right, but it's, it's, it's for fu Chris. It's for fundraising, ultimately, in my yeah. view. Michael, let me uh, appeal to you on this. In, in, in overseas situations, especially in the country like Libya, which was still at war and had no real government, we were getting protected by militias in that area of Benghazi. We have outposts that have been attacked in ways that we're not prepared over in Afghanistan. Months after months, it would go with these terrible situations where GIs were stuck out there in the middle of nowhere and overrun by the Taliban. Nobody's making This is life in a dangerous world. What do you think Benghazi yeah. was like? It was a dangerous place that Chris Stevens, who everybody loved, had the guts to go into, and things broke bad. The militias yeah. weren't there to help them. They were on the other side. These were judgments made on the ground. How many soldiers are we supposed to have following around uh, diplomats in dangerous areas? You can't bring soldiers into those areas. Those situations yeah. will not permit it. But anyway, that's too much yeah. common sense. Well, I mean, I this has been, it's been you know, debunked. I mean, even the House Armed Services Committee, uh, majority Republicans uh, came to the conclusion that there was no way to militarily save Stevens and the three other Americans who died. So uh, you have the, you know, the, even the Republican right is divided on this question. And you're right, Stevens was in a very unusual situation. He knew a lot of these people uh, because mm -hmm. uh, he had been there before. Uh, and so, you know, it was a unique, it was a unique situation. But, you know, she, she does have to answer some questions about security procedures. There are legitimate questions here. Sure. It's just it doesn't have anything to do with the scandal uh, that the Republicans are trying to gin up. Yeah, I'm always impressed when George Will comes out and says basically the Democrats will be smart not to participate in this so-called select committee. I found that fascinating. It must have disheartened some of them. By the way, Charles Krauthammer, another guy, another huge brain on the right, said basically they missed their chance on this baby the first time through. Anyway, thank you, Michael Hirsch, and thank you, Howard Feynman, as always.